Hi, I'm Dawn Damari, and this is another Teaspoon of Healing audio blog. This one is called How to Let Go of Something That No Longer Serves You. Now, determining what no longer serves you is so liberating, it's scary, but when you do that and you let it go, it can free up your life for so much good to enter it. Now, you can choose to either learn to live with these things, either for a while or permanently, or you can let them go completely. Some things might not give our lives meaning or joy, but they could provide other benefits, like your job. It's going to provide you with income that you need. But it's really common for us to tie our jobs to our identity. So if a job is no longer serving you, but you can't leave it yet, that's okay. Perhaps detach it from your identity. Maybe if you're going back to school to retrain for another career or you're starting a side hustle, maybe make that more of your identity and make your job less important. Still put in the effort for it because it's bringing in income, but maybe detach it from your identity. However, some things really should be let go. How do we do that? Well, in my experience, here's what's helped me. First of all, you need to accept this situation. It can be really hard to accept when something is no longer resonating with your life. You might be very attached to it, especially if this is your career, a romantic relationship, a long-term friendship, or a belief you have. You might have some nostalgia creeping in, which is going to make you want to hold on tighter. Accept that you know that what you're doing is right for you. The second step to letting things go is to honor it. Whatever it is that you're letting go, this was probably once a really big part of your life. So it's really important for you to take some time to acknowledge that. Be really grateful for the experiences that it gave you because it shaped who you are right now. Allow yourself to grieve. It can be really sad to release parts of your life, especially ones that were huge parts of your life. It's a type of a loss and it can even feel like someone has died. So allow yourself as much time to grieve it as possible. And you may even go through the stages of grief. And if you need to cry, go for it. Be angry in a safe way. Don't bottle up your emotions because if you do, it's only going to lead to resentment and maybe an outburst later. Just really find a way to hold space for that grief and find the closure you need so you can move on. Forgive yourself and forgive others. When you're letting someone go or something go, you might feel some shame or guilt about that. Maybe something at work didn't go your way or you feel you didn't try hard enough in a relationship. That's okay. You did the best that you could. So don't beat yourself up. Other people might have hurt you. Forgive them too. This doesn't excuse their actions, but it just liberates you from any attachment to their actions so you don't hold grudges. You can move on and be free. Lastly, trust that wonderful things are going to come in your life. Letting go, it leaves a void behind in our lives, and that emptiness can be scary. It can be really hard to trust that there is more to come in our lives. Just be patient. Whenever we leave things behind that no longer serve us, this leaves space for new, beneficial things to enter our lives. How do you let go and move on from things in your life? Send me an email, dawn at teaspoonofhealing.com, or go to my Instagram, at Teaspoon of Healing, or my Facebook, facebook.com slash Teaspoon of Healing, and send me a message. Let me know how you let go of something. Thank you for listening.